preparing food in the kitchen can be so much fun and yield some yummy results at the end. But there are some rules that have to be followed to make sure that we're safe while doing so. Knives are used to prepare lots of foods and recipes, so today we're going to be discussing how to properly use a knife so we can be a safe cook. Before jumping into knife safety, here are a few tips to remember anytime you're preparing food. If you have long hair, make sure to tie it back. Nobody wants a loose hair falling into their food. A lot of cooks wear a special chef's hat or hairnet to keep their hair out of the way. Also try your best to avoid loose clothing like cardigans or jackets, and loose jewelry like earrings, bracelets, or watches. You don't want them falling into your yummy creations or getting caught in things like mixers. Lastly, if you have an apron, you can wear that to protect yourself and your clothes from getting messy while preparing foods. Now that we're all ready, let's head to the kitchen to learn how to use a knife safely. Welcome to the kitchen. If you can remember the word safety, then you can remember how to safely use a knife. Each letter stands for a safety tip. It's called an acronym. The S in safety stands for securely hold the knife. Four fingers should hold on to the side opposite of your thumb. You want to use your whole hand to securely hold the knife, but make sure that you are holding the handle and do not get too close to the blade itself. When holding a knife, you also always want to point the blade away from yourself. This can prevent you from accidentally cutting yourself or your clothes. The A in safety stands for anchor your cutting board. You always want to put something underneath the food you're cutting so it doesn't hurt your countertops. But you also need to make sure that your cutting board doesn't slip, causing an injury. To do this, it's suggested that you put something underneath your cutting board, like a towel. The F in safety stands for fingers rolled back. The hand that isn't holding the knife should be in a bear claw grip. This way, your fingers are protected from the sharp blade, but you are still able to hold your food in place. The E in safety stands for eyes on the knife. You always want to look at what you're cutting so you don't accidentally slip and cut a finger or mess up what you're preparing to eat. The T in safety stands for take your time. You don't want to rush, it's not a race. Cut slowly to prevent injuries. Lastly, the Y in safety stands for yield to falling knives. If a knife accidentally slips out of your hand or falls off the counter, never try to catch it. Always move to the side and try to get as far away from the fall as you can. After it's on the floor and has stopped moving, you can safely approach the knife and pick it back up. But don't forget to wash it off before you start using it again on your food. So if you can remember the word safety, then you can be safe in the kitchen while using a knife. Now let's get cooking. 